Okay, this is Orlando Wilson. You know what? I've been in the security close protection investigations world now for over 30 years. One of the biggest scams, I call it a scam I've seen, is kidnapping insurance. Everybody goes on about it. It's big in the movies, etc. I take it because the people that are selling it are well connected, went to the right schools. But if you think, if a client thinks, because they've got kidnap and ransom insurance, that if something goes bad, if they're kidnapped, there's going to be a team of people coming to rescue them, then they're dreaming. They've been sold a fantasy. Your whole, whole aim is not to get kidnapped in the first place. Because the chances are, if you get kidnapped, you're going to get hurt. Very good chance in a lot of places you're going to get raped, whether you're male or female. Which means whatever type of disease is, etc. Not just the psychological trauma of being gangbanged. So again, a lot of these people selling the kidnap and ransom insurance are telling people, oh, if something happens, we'll help you, etc. We'll pay the ransom. Even if you pay a ransom, it doesn't mean the person's going to be released. And I have stories. It's like a lot of times ransoms are paid, the person turns up dead. If they ever appear again. So the emphasis is on is not being kidnapped. I know people that's done the mandatory kidnap prevention course that goes with the well, kidnap and ransom seminar that goes with the kidnap and ransom insurance. And one person I know is very experienced and they're like, it was complete BS. Because all these people are telling them is, oh, if you get a problem, call us. If you get a problem, call us. Yeah, because it's about billing. They want you to call them. These insurance companies want you to call them because it's more money for them. They're billing. They're no different than lawyers. And think about it. If you're kidnapped somewhere, what can they do? They're a private company private insurance company. They might have contacts with the local police, but they have to deal with the local police. Your government is not going to be sending rescue teams to come and get you. Why? They don't have jurisdiction. And a lot of times they don't care about you. That's the fact. So all these kidnap and ransom insurance companies will do is send somebody, maybe, or as close to the area as possible, which is safe for them, so they can oversee negotiations, etc. In a lot of countries where kidnapping was prevalent, is prevalent, private individuals, private companies cannot get involved in anything to do with kidnapping investigations, etc. So this company, these insurance companies, can send somebody, most probably to hang out in a five-star hotel, close to where the issue happened and liaise with the police but you know what the police aren't going to be talking to them if they if you think they're going to go and hire a private military unit to go and rescue you well most places foreigners can't handle guns so there's not much they can do yes it might be reassuring for people to have kidnap and ransom insurance but the whole aim is not to get kidnapped in the first place. And you've got to remember the people that's selling the kidnap and ransom insurance, they'll make money when you're kidnapped. So it's not in their interest to make sure you don't get kidnapped. And from what I see, these companies are doing very little apart from lame, if anything, lame hostile environment courses with pseudo kidnappings to try and prevent people from being kidnapped. It's all about billing hours and you having issues because if you have issues they make more money if you're safe they don't make money so when you're if you have to deal with people trying to sell you or selling you kidnap and ransom insurance because it goes with insurance policies business policies or life insurance policies because you're going to dodgy areas be very skeptical of those selling those policies and take everything with a big big pinch of salt your safety is not in their interests they're making money off you I hope that makes sense. If you look online, if you look on Amazon, I've got a book on uh, kidnap and ransom and a few stories from the things I dealt with over the years. 
and hopefully it'll put quite a few things into perspective. Stay safe, stay out of trouble, and again, always be very skeptical of any insurance salesman, because especially kidnap and ransom insurance salesman. And think about in reality, what can they actually do if you have a problem? Not Hollywood, in reality. Not what they say on the movies, but in reality. Be very skeptical, and when it comes to the crunch, you need to make sure you're protecting yourself because nobody else particularly cares particularly cares about what happens to you. So, there's a few words of advice and a few words of, I suppose, warning. Take care.